Hey sports fans, Coach Nick here and welcome to our latest segment where we spotlight the half-court offense of your favorite team, what they run in. Today, let's look at Coach Tom Thibodeau and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Of course, what would a what they run in show be without some horns? Here, Rubio initiates with a pick and roll and they look for some high-low action between Towns and Jang, but get a drive instead. More pick and roll to start horns, and you can see how this will free up Towns to get standstill set shots from the three-point line. And lastly, they run some motion into horns by reversing it and screening for Brandon Rush to get the ball out on top. Now they've got a high post entry, weak side cut by the guard, and Bielitsa gets on the board. Thibodeau also runs flow action that starts with a quick step up screen for the ball handler bringing it up. This allows the other three players to space along the three-point line and hunt for shots. You can see how this quick attack can collapse the defense and the Wolves have been effective at finding the open man along the perimeter for wide open shots. And this action can open up driving lanes for the ball handler as well, with good spacing for offensive rebounds if the first shot misses. We did a video on Thibodeau's use of the triangle offense, and it has certainly appeared in various forms already. Here you'll see the unmistakable low post entry and both corner and wing cutting to the hoop simultaneously, leading to a nice face up for Towns. Here's blind pig action where the weak side forward flashes the middle and the guard on top cuts behind him. This flows into a little two man game on the right side and eventually they'll get better weak side action to produce a better shot than this. This one started out as the high post series of the triangle, but you can see they're still unsure of the formation. But it flowed nicely into pinch post with Wiggins and Towns, something that will eventually be devastating to defenses everywhere. This might have been a better version of the previous set, and I like how they feed the high post and follow that to split across the top of the key into a handoff. There is definitely something to the set if they iron out the kinks. Here's a traditional high post split with a corner curl, then hand off to the screener. Something tells me that Zach Levine is going to like running this set as often as possible. You know what I mean? This caught my eye. A center pass back to a handoff that leads to a flare screen on the right side. The flare screener then sets the ball screen, and while there's not much movement, who needs it when Towns can do this? They ran motion weak once last night. The tip off is the guard's shallow cutting to the left side, and flex action is supposed to happen down low, but Wiggins just stands there in the lane for six seconds before finally coming off the pin down. While this broke down, I really like how the Wolves got the ball moving quickly with the pass until finding the open shooter on the wing for the triple. Here's a clever set that caught my eye. The Elitza sets a pin down for the ball screener, but then they set a corner pin down for him. They miss him open for a second, and this could have flowed back into triangle action, but they're still working out the bugs, and a good reversal gets them great post position and ultimately a bucket. And lastly, they run this unique weave along the right wing that gets the ball moving a bit, and the two-man game between Levine and Towns should also open up lots of other things for teammates. This was perfect until the shot block, but encouraging nonetheless. So there you have it, sports fans. That's what they run in Timberwolves style. It's early and they're young, but with Thibodeau manning the bench, it's only a matter of time until they gel, straighten out the wrinkles, and come out looking like a sharp-dressed man.